New at five, the Field Museum is the new temporary home of that tiny piece of pristine asteroid. The fragment on loan from NASA won't be on display, but our Noel Brennan saw it up close and met the scientists who've been waiting years to study it. This is really amazing. A tiny black fragment doesn't seem so exciting until a scientist explains it's a specimen from space. It's a honor of a lifetime to be able to st study this sample. That's the Field Museum's Dr. Philip Heck holding a speck of the asteroid Bennu. When this little rock first arrived at the museum and you held it in that little vial, what was that like for you? It was amazing. I was looking forward to that moment for a long time. NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission was planned decades ago. In 2016, a spacecraft launched. In 2018, it arrived at Bennu, a near-Earth asteroid as wide as the Sears Tower is tall. NASA collected pieces of the asteroid, touch-and-go sampling mechanism, and brought them back to Earth in 2023. This is the first U.S. mission that spent a spacecraft to the asteroid and bring a sample back to Earth. University of Chicago grad student Yuka Jung is part of the OSIRIS-REx sample analysis team. It's a tiny, dark, black fragment that is fragile. So we want to pr uh, protect it very carefully. We don't She'll use the museum's scanning electron microscope to get an up-close look at a tiny sample of Bennu. What struck me is how dark the, sp the sample is. I had never seen such a dark sample. The fragment is like a time capsule, taking us back 4.6 billion years. We believe Bennu contains part of the ingredients for life and part of the ingredients of the, for the formation of Earth. Suddenly, a fragment at the bottom of a vial can have you pondering your place in the universe. I've never studied a pristine sample from an asteroid. Noel Brennan, CBS News, Chicago.